Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar. And the topic we are going to be covering today is operating expense planning using SAP Analytics Cloud. So before we jump into the demo, this is just a high level uh, agenda that we're going to be going over. We'll start off uh, with an introduction of our company Visio, uh, which will be followed with an introduction to the application. Uh, after that, Sajad is going to be taking you through a walkthrough of our application and we'll just close off the webinar with some remarks and if time permits, we'll have a quick Q&A session. So before we begin today's presentation, I just wanted to give out this disclaimer that SAP Analytics Cloud is the sole registered property of the company SAP and we at Visio are only using it as a planning platform for all of our services. So with that, we'll jump right into telling you a bit about our company. So welcome to Visio. We are a boutique AWS and SAP solution provider operating out of the US and Canada. We specialize in BI analytics and financial planning and analysis solutions for which we offer end-to-end -end implementation and support services. So this is a very high level view of the technology offerings we currently have at Visio, and I'm going to invite my colleague Sajad to tell you a little bit more about that. And thank you, Ashwan, and uh, welcome everyone. <clears throat> Just a high level overview of this is uh, so we have two uh, streams um, of service offering that we do. Uh, one is on the SAP side, and one on the AWS side. They both revolve around BI analytics and FP in a space. Uh, our primary focus has always, always is right now <clears throat> on the cloud technologies in which SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP Data Sphere, HANA Cloud, BTP setup and configuration, things like that comes into play. In addition to that, we also specialize in some industry specific solutions like SAP for utilities. We have accelerators for that in terms of uh, analytics and planning and budgeting solutions. <clears throat> So this particular slide gives a high level breakdown of all the planning budgeting accelerators that we have built on SAP Analytics Cloud. As for the topic, today's demo is for operating expense planning, but if you can see from the bottom side, we have all a lot of additional solutions that we offer, including workforce planning, salary, OPEX, multiple variations of CapEx planning, risk profiling, and in addition to that, we offer a lot of custom CapEx solutions that fit any uh, municipality and regional government needs. In addition to that, we also offer <coughs> business application solutions on SAP Analytics Cloud. And one of our core offering is asset retirement obligation management, which of allows you to do end-to-end -end obligation management down from uh, obligation cash flow calculations to accounting entries under one uh, umbrella. This is a very uh, low cost solution for any municipality that doesn't want to go on a full blown uh, system implementation or solution implementation as an ERP add-on. Uh, and we also allow integration with the, as a outbound uh, reports and data outputs, which can be linked with your accounting systems. So let's talk about uh, what is an accelerator? How does it help me? Um, what can it be to uh, do for us? Accelerator is a concept that has been reduced uh, the last few years uh, to speed up the implementation process. Okay, what the idea behind that is we collect the pool of best uh, processes, best practices, and we just try to put them together so that we can follow our template-based implementation and quickly turn around and uh, uh, make the clever clients go live uh, in a very short amount of time. Um, and obviously there are deltas across every organization which we handle on case by case basis. So it's a one size fits all solution. It has a shorter implementation cycle. Usually our OPEX implementation takes anywhere from 16 to 20 weeks uh, uh, on average. Uh, we have <clears throat> pre-built processes based on best practices, uh, rapid deployment due to 80 to 90% solution built in advance. We just need to deploy that. 
Uh, one of the good things is that a lot of all of our solutions and accelerators are demo ready, which we can showcase to customers and they can get a real time experience of how an FPNA solution will going to work in a fully automated environment as well as on SAP Analytics Cloud. Now, coming specific to municipalities, regional governments, or a public sector in term, in general, as an industry, what this solution offers to them. It's a fully driver-based solution. Uh, an example of a driver is inflation or cost of living allowances or a particular calculation that you would like to apply. Uh, seasonality is another driver that plays an important role. So it's a fully driver-based solution so that uh, a change in the driver can be immediately reflected in the application without making significant changes or spending significant time on reworking the numbers. What if analysis, uh, uh, every solution that we present has a lot of what if analysis uh, capabilities. You can prepare multiple views on different assumptions and different scenarios when you're doing a budgeting exercise. And uh, it, it will going to help you in uh, in terms of uh, coming up with different uh, number sets based on different uh, assumptions, different probability factors. A lot of times at last minute, if someone wants to add a num uh, an amount or reduce an amount, that becomes very easy to incorporate uh, rather than spending times and reworking numbers. Uh, multi-year budgeting uh, from in-year ca uh, calculation to multi-year. So we all, our solution is dynamically capable of handling one-year budgeting as well as do the max of 10-year budgeting. So if you're doing more strategic planning and a forward-looking outlook, you can uh, do that within the same application. Process tracking in terms of where we stand on the planning side and data level security. So if you are a cost center manager or a department manager, you will only going to see what you're allowed to see or supposed to see, uh, not only for reports, but also for planning exercise and planning processes. So this is, uh, was just a high level overview on the accelerators uh, uh, in general and specific to municipalities. We also offer this solution in uh, three different languages, English, French, and uh, Spanish. Uh, as we are trying to expand our scope of market, we realize that uh, additional languages would definitely going to benefit us. Okay, so now section two, what is the application architecture? Okay, so uh, everyone knows what is uh, APEX. It's like your rent expenses, your utilities, salary and wages, raw material and component. How everything comes together as an application is uh, quite uh, complicated. And uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, the way we have put together is we have tried to incorporate that as a process, a streamlined process in which I'm going to showcase you in a few minutes. All right, so let's go move into the live demo. Uh, with this, I'm going to take you to our application. Thank you so much, Sajad, for that demo. Uh, I hope that everyone found it interesting. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop them in the question box, and we will be happy to address them at the end if we have enough time. So before we close off today's webinar, I just had a couple of closing remarks that I wanted to share with everyone. So at Visio, we're currently working on a few new accelerators that we're hoping to showcase maybe by the end of the year or early next year. Some things that we're working on right now include an accelerator for revenue planning, travel and event planning, procurement planning, and strategic workforce planning. So we will be sharing as and when they become available. So keep an eye out on our newsletters and our social medias to stay updated. Okay, so we have some time for Q&A, and if anybody has any questions, please feel free to drop them in the box, and we'll be happy to address them. Okay, uh, so I don't think we have any questions from the audience today. Uh, if anyone has any questions at some later point, or if they would like to see more of this demo, we'll be happy to do a separate demo for you. So just let us know, here is our contact information. You can drop us an email, you can visit our website and uh, get in touch. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am going to be closing today's webinar and give you some time back for your afternoon. Thank you very much for attending and uh, we hope to see you again. Thank you.